Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric in a customer's house today. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk to you about kitchens. Um, I have had now in the last 13 years on my own remodels, three kitchens um, fed with one circuit. Uh, this actually had about two max, um, real quirky done. Uh, this house was probably in the 60s. A kitchen was remodeled in the late 70s because I still have cloth wire, but I have a ground in some of them and a ground not in some of the cloth. Um, then it was remodeled again before they sold, probably in the last with the kit cabinet look and the granite, probably five years ago. Um, the problem I had was that um, when I came here originally a couple years back, um, the plumber had to do some plumbing, so he, she's smart. She left that hole for a few years now. Um, I changed out this panel because it was an FPE. Uh, this video is done in February 2018, just so you know, code reference. Um, and also, um, uh, what we did in here is we were called to get rid of the FPE, so we did, and there's four conductors coming here. When we originally put this in, my gut said to put in um, an 8 16 panel for space so that means that there's eight full spots or 16 small I had no clue um, when she just moved in that this kitchen had these kind of issues we were just called to look at the bathroom remodel and the panel um, now I know a little bit more better that I probably could have ended up tracing out the house first and then sizing a panel accordingly it's not a huge deal we did add one breaker downstairs that was for Siemens so this panel right here took up as a Siemens and an AFCI took up one full spot. Uh, AFCI is the dark blue and the dual action with the AFCI GFCI is the baby blue color for Siemens stab panels, load centers. Um, right here is a twin and then this could be turned into a quad 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 and they do have the double handle, double handle or single double in the center but it would be four into two and four into two. You're probably wondering where is her 240 for her range. She has gas and her dryer is gas too, um, which is really good on an older house if you can do gas. I personally prefer to cook with gas and dry with gas um, because BTUs for us here in Colorado are a lot cheaper for our uh, gas usage uh, LP than it is for electric in my opinion. But anyways, um, looking at this right here, I am limited. So as I talk about the three videos on this, I'm going to talk about the panel space here what we had to do so when I came here this is how one circuit traced it went to here and I looked at this last week then it jumped to here then switch loop to the garbage disposal then it came out of that uh, double switch went downstairs to the washer went from the washer to the fridge then back out of this box here it went up to this outlet here went down to that outlet there and guess what they did they just put instead of a vent hood they put a microwave and ran that new um, yellow cable that was already cut in to the old cloth cable here and they finally ended it here um, so as you can see all of these items were on a circuit which the code states in article 250.52 and also 210.20 it talks about um, spacing of your outlets and the load of how much can it handle. So as we look at that code article real quick, you can see how it was very much undermined on how many circuits I needed. And right here talks about your spacing. So this will be um, along a kitchen here. This is in the NFPA 70, um, and it's the 2017 code handbook. Um, right in here, it does talk about dwelling units in 210.52, like I told you. But now we're into section 4, A4, for um, small appliances and or um, your spacing of your plugs. I'm not going to get into all that. You guys can you do it yourselves. Go look it up yourself. Um, but you other electricians know where to find that and read about it. Um, as far as uh, 210.12, we're going to be talking about arc faults next. And then we're also going to be getting underneath box fill. But I want to show you also in the code where it does state um, when you're working at the surface of the counter, the island, the peninsula... And you're also going to be looking at which ones have to be dedicated as a 20 amp circuit. Um, so it starts carrying that on in 210.62 as well. But 210, um, I think it was 20 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we start getting into our loads and our tapping uh, for kitchens. So all through here you're going to see 
um, your permissible loads and, and a 20 amp branch circuit serving your counter. But basically in a nutshell guys, um, it's a lot of misrepresentation. Um, can you have a dishwasher disposal together? Yes. If I were to do it, it would be on a dedicated 20 amp circuit. Sometimes I've seen them on 15, it's not a huge deal. But later if they put in an Insta Hot in, I'm gonna put it with a disposal circuit more than I am with a dishwasher if there's already two circuits there. A lot of the times you'll see a multi-branch circuit ran there with a black, red, and a white. And that's been done for decades. Um, nowadays we're gonna run maybe uh, a 14-4 or a 12-4 over there and separate our red, white with our, our red and our black and white together as two separate circuits. Um, the microwave has to be dedicated as a, a single 20 amp circuit and your kitchen counter outlets have to be dedicated with two, two circuits, whether you have this is A and this is B or A, B, A, B. It's really up to you. If I have a big enough kitchen with an island, I'm going to have three 20 amp circuits. Mind you, the code is a minimum of two 20 amp circuits serving the counter. That's going to be your 12 gauge yellow. Um, your refrigerator is still allowed to by code to be tapped onto a kitchen counter and your nook as well. I don't always practice it that way because what if they end up with a sub-zero that needs a dedicated two-pole, um, a 20 amp, two-pole 20 amp circuit or it's going to be a dedicated one, 120 amp circuit um, with a neutral. So keep that in mind that you're sizing that based on what kind of fridge or deep freeze that they're going to put in the kitchen. You also have garbage compactors that's kind of old school but people still put them in. They're dedicated. Your wine refrigerators. They're not typically supposed to be tap, tapped off of your single, your 20 amp circuit serving a kitchen. Kitchen. Now mind you, what is designed in the kitchen as technically code versus a kitchenette or a wet bar or a dry bar in a basement finish, what separates it is the fact that you have a sink um, and you have a range. These two items for cooking now create a second kitchen in the home. If you just have a kitchen counter and you're using a grill, that doesn't count. Um, now if this was serving on the counter, this is allowed to actually be just plugged in. But keep in mind if your fridge is a part of that kitchen circuit or your nook is and this is plugged on the counter, that's taking up more space as well in that circuit. So again, people have Vitamixes, I've been wiring all kinds of different things in people's kitchen that you can see that these draws can happen at the same time. Your toaster ovens, you've got your crock pots, your cooking, um, uh, you've got now, uh, excuse me, I'm trying to draw a blank here, um, uh, your coffee pots as well as people um, may have espresso machines that are pulling uh, a 2 pole 20 amp, 240 volt circuit or they're going to be doing a single pole 20 amp. So keep in mind that some kitchens are done as is and, and in design past what they normally would say. So anyways, this video is getting a little long. I'll get into the next part of it. Thank you.